Assalamu alaikum guys and welcome to Smile to Jannah Ramadan edition Smile to Jannah <laughs> Alright guys, Ramadan What a special time where we fast by day and we stand by night But guys, I don't know about you but there are a few guilty pleasures that I see and feel in Tarawih and I wanted to share them with you all right, number one, you're praying, yeah? A space emerges in front of you. You've got your keys, your bottle, and possibly a jumper in front of you, so you're very reluctant to go forward. But you notice that the guy on your right and left refuses to go forward. So reluctantly, you go forward, leaving all your prized possessions behind. As you go forward, you're probably thinking the guy behind you is going to take your keys, somehow find your car, go joyriding in your car, get you like five points on your driving license, run a few people over, do drive by, get the keys, melt them and make a pendant to summon the devil. So as you go all this racing in your head, lo and behold, as you look below you, one unsung hero pushes your stuff forward between your legs as if he knows and understands your plight. He, ladies and gentlemen, is the unsung hero. Number two, whenever there's a collection happening during Tarawih, you always have one brother near the door. He gets the brunt of the donations, but then you got the brother near the gate. He's lonely. Anytime someone gets to him, they've already given their donation. So this brother really feels left out. In fact, he's probably losing hope in the Ummah, thinking no one's donating. When you don't give to the first guy near the door and you save it for him, and as you donate, he looks you in the eyes. That, ladies and gentlemen, is unadulterated appreciation. Number three, you've had a knackering day, mate. You're planning to go to Tarawih, pray half, and then do a runner. But then halfway through, you're feeling all right. Certain burst of taqwa and energy is going through your veins. And you know what? When you finish it all and it's time to go, and you walk down that street on your way home, it honestly feels like coming out of the tunnel in Wembley Arena and everyone <laughs> applauding you. All right, guys, now there's certain people you don't know that well. Do you call him a friend? Do you call him an acquaintance? What do you call him? You don't call him anything. When you see him from a distance, here's what you do. <laughs> this is called the nod, the wave, and the murmur. Are you making salam or are you saying are you okay? No one knows because the both are merged. Notice it again. It's a bit of Mr. Bean in there and there's a bit of I'm having a stroke, help me. All right, number five. You're going through, plugging through Tarawih. You've planned mentally for there being four records left. You've just prayed two, you're about to get up. Yo, it's over. It's done. You know what? At that time, you feel like a boxer who's prepared for 10 rounds and that right hook gets him on the chin and you've clocked him in the first round. All right, number six, you're trying to stay focused in Tarawih. You're listening out for words that you understand because you want to piece together some sort of narrative, but you're finding it difficult. The lo and behold, here comes a verse that you understand. That cheeky grin pops up and that slow nod. Number seven guys, you've just started Tarawih and you don't know your partners on your right and left. Are they gonna be the You never know. You wait for about 30 seconds, your mom starts reciting, there's no You just wanna grab them both and hug them because they are now about to embark on the journey of Tarawih with you without doing the Alright, number eight, Salah's just finished. There's a stampede that reminds you of the stampede that happened in the Lion King with Simba and the Wildebeest. So you're plugging through, you're going to the place where your shoes are. Yo, your shoes are exactly where you left them. What a beautiful end to a beautiful Salah. Alright guys, number nine. It's been a long day, Tarawi's happening at 10.30 at night. 
Long journey. Imams just spent five minutes waiting for someone to move the black Honda from the driveway. Now it's time for the donation guy and his speech. You're sitting there thinking God knows how long this is gonna be but my man here 15 seconds he delivers a belt I made. Hits you right in the heart. You want to donate all your money 15 seconds boom job done. And last but not least you've been powering through hoping for the mercy of Allah to descend contemplating on your sins you're doing all that but then near the end of Taraweeh you've forgotten how many are left you've gone in blind now mate you're the lone warrior one man crew and when you make that second salam you hear that wonderful sound and that sound ladies and gentlemen is the sound of the crackling of bottles right at the end where everyone reaches <laughs> to hydrate their esophagus. Now if there's any guilty pleasures of Taraweeh that I've missed out guys, feel free to let me know in the description. But guys, I'm collecting again for Gambia the 2k challenge. Let's start donating. Let's hit that 2k mark guys in the first week. I put my link in the description when I went to Gambia for the orphanage and the school. Guys, the, pro the project has blossomed. Let's make it happen. Until next time guys. Salamu alaikum.